and welcome back to Young Storytellers Storytime. Today, we're going to talk about obstacles and start brainstorming story ideas from our scripts. But before we do that, let's review the storytelling elements we already learned. In our last few videos, we learned that the characters are the people or the players in the story, the setting is the place and time, and the goal is what the main character wants to get or achieve. We also learned that a lesson is what the main character learns over the course of the story. If you missed any of our prior videos when we learned these elements, it could be helpful to go back and watch them. Some new elements we're gonna learn today are obstacle and climax, which are what make a story exciting to watch. As I said earlier, today is all about something called brainstorming. See, brainstorming is when you come up with a bunch of different ideas before deciding on the one story idea you want to write about. All writers start by brainstorming, even Jacob. He's a recent Young Storyteller alum who wrote the hilarious script called Toilet Man. Hey, Storytellers. I'm Jacob, a Young Storytellers participant. A year ago, I wrote a screenplay called Toilet Man with Young Storytellers. One of my favorite parts of working on my script was when we brainstormed. For me, brainstorming was a time where I could write down all the creative ideas in my head. When brainstorming, I don't have to worry about my ideas being good or bad. I just think of all the story ideas I can. Then after I record all my ideas, I go back and pick my favorite ones. My favorite ideas are the ones that make me laugh the hardest. Since I'll be spending the rest of my writing time expanding the story ideas, I pick the ideas that I want to spend more time developing. If you have a hard time coming up with ideas, it's time when you have as much time as you need to think about what you want to write about. And if you have so many story ideas that you're not sure what to write about, it's time when you write down all those ideas and pick your favorites. Hope you have as much as fun as, as I did coming up with ideas for my script to learn. When you're brainstorming, the possibilities are endless. So true. You know, brainstorming is just a way to express your ideas in whatever way works for you. So you can decide which ideas are the best for you to write about. So if you found our worksheets helpful, please use the Divide a Story worksheet. But you can really brainstorm anyway. You could use a blank piece of paper. You could even speak your ideas out loud. Really, it's whatever works for you. Well, now it's time to brainstorm with Vera and Curtis and the Young Storytellers Imaginarium. Hi again. Welcome back to the Imaginarium, where we can be anywhere and do anything we set our mind to. So far, we've come up with settings, characters, goals, and lessons for our stories. However, something that makes a story interesting are the obstacles the character faces. Obstacles are things that characters have to overcome to reach their goal. They can be things that the main character or protagonist faces after they decide their goal, or they can also be things that the character has already been facing and the reason they don't already have their goal. Sometimes, obstacles can be represented by a character who gets in the way of the protagonist's goal. That character is called the antagonist. The reason why the obstacle is so important is because it creates the drama in the story, the stuff that's so fun for the audience to watch. Then, near the end of our story, the obstacle gets so big and so dramatic that it builds to something called the climax. This is usually where the protagonist faces the antagonist, or the big bad evil guy, and uses everything they've learned to demonstrate the lesson. Then, we see if the protagonist can overcome the obstacle to achieve their goal. In some stories, they get their goal, and in others, they don't, but learn something really important from not getting what they want. Now you have all the elements to make a story idea. That means we can make our stories now. For sure. You can brainstorm your own stories using this template with all these story elements divided up. One key story element goes in each box. Setting, character, goal, obstacle, climax, and lesson. Write down two or three ideas for the story elements written in each box. Like for the setting box, list two or three fun places where you might want your story to take place. You're just writing down ideas. You might choose one of these ideas for your story, or you might end up coming up with another idea later. Why don't you try? You can fill the boxes out with one really detailed idea, or you can put a bunch of ideas in each box and mix and match your ideas to make a story.
I hope that helped you come up with some fun potential ideas for your story. Now, I'm sure you've written some great ideas. Take a minute to pick one or two ideas from each box that you want to turn into a full story and circle them. There's no right or wrong choice. Yeah, whoa, we've learned a lot today. Pilar, would you please help me summarize everything? Happy to, Curtis. Today, we reviewed the main elements in a story. Setting, character, goal, obstacle, climax, and lesson. And you came up with a few story elements for your scripts. And you even selected your top one to two favorite story ideas for your future script. If you'd like to see your favorite story ideas come to life, please ask a grown-up to email them to us or post them on social media and tag us. Sharing your creative ideas can help entertain and inspire others, and we really want to be inspired by you. So please share if you like. Thanks for brainstorming with us today. Oh, in our next video, you'll be turning some of the ideas you brainstormed today into a one-sentence story idea for your script. Bye.